Hello, I'm Reverend Becky. If I haven't met you yet, I hope that you will reach out to me at the church and let me know who you are. I am excited to get to know all of the children and families here at Washington Street United Methodist Church as I serve as your new pastor. I wanted to share with you today because I'm excited about our fall festival that will be held in our parking lot this afternoon as we celebrate Halloween together. Are you excited about Halloween? I hope that I can see what costumes each one of you are wearing. I used to love to get dressed up for Halloween. Truth be told, I still like dressing up. Some of the outfits that I like to wear, sometimes I like to dress up like a doctor or a medical staff person. How are you doing today? May I take your temperature, please? Other times I like to dress up like a princess. And I like to be funny and dress up like a clown sometimes. As I think about all of the different costumes that people wear today, sometimes people's costumes are so wonderful. I can't even tell who the real person is underneath all of that costume. And it got me to thinking, what kind of costume do I need to wear so that people will know that I am a Christian, that I love God? Or do I have to wear a costume at all? Do I have to put on my robe so that people know that I'm a preacher? I was thinking about this when I was reading in my Bible in the New Testament. There's a book called Colossians written by the Apostle Paul. And in that book, he tells us what we're supposed to wear so that other people will know that we are Christians. Listen to what he wrote in Colossians chapter 3. He says, As God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Now those aren't things that we can put on like clothes that we wear, but they're the way we treat other people. In the church services right now, I'm preaching a sermon series on what Paul calls the fruits of the Spirit, these same kind of things, things that describe the way we act and the way we treat other people, things like love and joy, peace and patience, generosity, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. If some of those words are words you haven't heard before, talk to the grown-ups in your life and ask them what some of those words mean. Because these are the things that we do that help other people know that God loves us, we love God, and God loves them. I hope you'll have a great Halloween, and I hope I'll see you at the Fall Festival. God bless you all. Will you say a prayer with me? Just simply repeat the words after me. As you bow your heads and close your eyes, let us pray. Dear God, we thank you that you love us. Help us to clothe ourselves with the good things that help others to know we love you and you love them. Amen. Thank y'all for sharing with me.